Welcome back everyone. We're jumping right into our temperature map because we had a cold front that moved through last night. Now we probably don't notice it too much in central Texas. Notice how we're kind of just in this bulge of warm and dry air. Lots of those mid 80s around the region. 85 Waco and Temple, 83 and Colleen, 86 for Bryan as well as Austin. Just a little bit farther north, you're noticing a larger temperature difference. Dallas, Fort Worth and Abilene at 75 and Lubbock at 59 degrees right now. Will that push down into our region? Not so much. Unfortunately, we just got the short end of the stick when it comes to this cold front. We're not seeing a lot of cloud cover, which is resulting in just an overall very nice weekend. Farther down south, heading toward Nicaragua right now, Hurricane Julia possibly making landfall during the early parts of tomorrow morning as a Category 1 hurricane. This is the only thing we have going on in the tropics right now, so we are just keeping an eye on it in the meantime. And of course, we can start to see just a little bit of those clouds still just hanging around. Most Mostly in the northern parts of the region right around Hillsboro. Futurecast radar showing not a whole lot of activity and not much is really expected. A little bit of cloud here and there. Possible to see a little bit, and I mean little, like less than 10% chance of some isolated sprinkles, mostly to the far western side of the viewing area during tomorrow afternoon, most of which will continue to stay west. Monday afternoon, similar situation, most of the rain just staying outside of our region. But we can expect a much stronger stronger cold front coming through. Until that happens, though, excellent time to wash your car for the next three days. Go for it. Add that wax. You're going to need it. We do actually do have some rain chances coming up. Not going to notice it so much for tonight. Tonight, actually, going to be a little bit cooler. And that's due to the fact that, well, we don't have as much cloud cover. Mostly clear, a little bit cooler across the region. Low tonight, 60 degrees for Temple. Here's your seven day planner. Always a weekend forecast. I got some good news. Temperatures are going to stay pretty steady over the next couple of days, most of which is actually having to do with the direction of the wind. So we've noticed it's been dry a lot lately. It's been hot. We have some pretty cool nights, but some pretty hot days. That's not going to be the case so much with this dry air. Winds are coming from the southeast. That's typically where the Gulf of Mexico. So we get that Gulf moisture coming in. It's going to start to equalize our temperatures a little bit. Wednesday, Thursday, I want to put your focus on this. This is where we're going to have a much stronger frontal system coming through. We're noticing a large temperature drop, almost 10 degrees going from Wednesday to Thursday, and that's going to last going into next weekend. So that's fantastic news. And yes, rain chances, as small as they may be, they are still there. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.